Hi guys, it is October, uh, third week of October. Oh my God, it's almost the end of October. Like it, it is. And I apologize, I was so busy with work last week. I think the video might have uploaded late. So I apologize for, for that. Um, for this week, we're talking about heart and hustle. Because hustle and heart is what sets you apart. And why is that important? Um, because if you don't have something that you care about and you're willing to hustle for and work for, then what, what, what's the point? What are you doing? Um, whether that's volunteering, whether that's I, whatever your thing is, you know, do your thing. NaNoWriMo is coming up. We've got all the budding writers coming out. You know, uh, Inktober is almost over. All the artists are participating in Inktober. You know, find something that inspires you. Find something that drives your passion and do it. Hopefully, it's work, you know. Uh, but, I mean, I, I, lo I have loved almost all of my jobs. Um, but... I, I've always done them for more than the money. So I try purposefully to find a job that, that I give a damn about, essentially. Um, because that way I don't mind working extra hard. I don't mind doing more than what's asked of me because I'm invested in the team. I'm invested in you know, the product. I'm invested in, in helping people. I'm invested in the culture. Whatever it is, I do my best to find a place where I, I give a damn. Okay? Um, being an insurance agent is so much better than I thought it would be. Had someone told me, like, you should totally be an insurance agent, I would have been like, why on earth would I be an insurance agent? But when you get right down to it, being a life insurance agent is about protecting families. Um, and that's that's what I'm passionate about. I like helping people and protecting families. And But, like, it, it found me in the weirdest way humanly possible, you know? Um, so I... I wish I had known about this when I got out of college. I wish I had known about this when I got out of high school. But like, I've, you know, I did it. So sometimes the, the thing that you're supposed to be doing finds you in a very roundabout way. And so in talking about hustle and heart this week, I want you to think about, you know, are you at a point where you need a creative change? If so, pick one of these monthly things and participate in them, have fun. You know, it doesn't have to be die hard serious. Don't make it die hard serious. It kind of kills the fun. But do it. Do something. Get out. Meet a different group. You know, find a crochet group. Find a craft group. Find a what, whatever. Find a drinking group. I don't care. Do something. Because without that extra oomph from your creative side, the rest of you can get really, what I consider soul tired. Like, I'm tired all the time because I have two kids. <laughs> You know, they're young. I get that. I get I probably have at least three to four more years of sleeplessness before I I, I can feel human again. I get I get that, all right? But when I talk about soul tired, I talk about like having no more drive, feeling like you've lost your creative part, you know, and just feeling like you don't wanna do anything. Like it's not depression, but I feel like it could be for some people. So you gotta recharge your battery hustle and heart and you got to balance them right because if I didn't have a job that I cared about and I was miserable and like but pay is great sometimes for a lot of people having that extra pay at a job that they're not satisfied in means that they get to pay to do the things that they want to do creatively maybe they travel maybe they uh, can afford the tools for their wood smithing workshop like there's always a balance, so you have to find your balance. You have to find it. This week is your hustle and heart challenge, okay? Where do you like to hustle? Where is your heart? If you're lucky, they're in the same place. If you're not, you got to find your balance, all right? I love you guys. Uh, we got our big fall conference coming up today. I wish I was presenting on social media, but our company is not quite there yet, if you know what I mean. So, instead... But, I mean, we need all the update on the sales training and stuff like that. So, for me, it's it's bound and determined to be a not quite exciting afternoon. But that's okay because that's my hustle and that's where my heart is too. So, if it helps me help people, I'm down with that. I'm willing to sit five hours in a hotel room. A hotel, a present, presenting room, not a, not a, not a bedroom. <laughs> no, and I get extra pay for that. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. So, have a wonderful week. <laughs> I'm so glad to have the kids back. I got my hearts back. So I'm I'm all charged up this week. A lot tired, but all charged up. All right, have a good one. Hopefully the sun will come back out today. Bye.